Okay, that was the birthday set for last week. We started on Monday the 13th. Dennis Loco Arier, the singer for Dr. Hook, turned 73. And then Rivers Cuomo turned 52. He's the singer for Weezer. And that's what was our first clip, Beverly Hills by Weezer. Then on Tuesday the 14th, Rod Argent of the Zombies and Argent, the keyboard player, Rod Argent, he uh, turned 73, I believe. And then Jim Leah, the bass player for Slade, he was 73 also. Which brings us to our second clip. David Thomas, the singer for Pure Ubu, he turned 69. And we've seen Pure Ubu doing a live version of Final Solution. I love that song. Also on Tuesday the 14th, Boy George turned 61. On Wednesday the 15th, Waylon Jennings would have been 85, but he died at 64 20 years ago. Which brought us to our third clip, Harry Nelson. He would have been 81, but he died at 52, 28 years ago. And uh, that was You Broke My Heart from Son of Smilson from 1972. He was a little ahead of his time. Okay, then brings us to another dude from uh, Slade. The singer and guitar player, Nadi Holder, he turned 76, which brings us to, oh, nope, we're still on the 15th. Steve Walsh, the singer from Kansas that all the girls were squirrely over when I was a teen, dust in the wind. Steve Walsh, 71. Bernie Shaw, singer for Uriah Heep. 66. Uh, Brad Gillis, guitar player for Night Ranger, 65. Scott Rockenfield, drummer for Queensryche, 59. Flip this. Which brings us to Thursday's the 16th. Eddie Leverett, the singer for the OJs, turned 80. The smile in your face, all the time gonna take your place. The backstabbers, backstabbers. Okay, and John Rostel, the bass player for the Shadows, which brought us to our next clip of them doing Apache. John Rostel is the bass player who fires up the seg in the beginning and at the end he throws the seg on the ground and stomps it out. That's whose birthday it was. John Rostel, the bass player for the Shadows. That, by the way, was from 1960. That clip. <laughs> Crazy. They kind of were ahead of their time, too. So he would have been 80, but he died at 31. 49 years ago. Moly. And that brings us to Cliff... Oh, on it brings us to Friday the 17th, actually. Cliff Gallup, guitar player, Gene Vincent, would have been 92. He died at 58, 34 years ago. And Barry Manilow turned 79 on Friday. Which also brought us to our next clip. Michael Monroe, singer for Hanoi Rocks. Turned 60. They did tragedy. And I did a double shot for Friday the 17th. This one's good. Okay. Hanoi Rocks. Michael Monroe, that goes out to you, Neil, because I know you like them. And uh, Joe Biafro turned 64 on Friday. And uh, that clip was Too Drunk to Fuck by the Dead Kennedys. And that's going out to you, Joe Glaza.
because you were asking if I played any Dead Kennedys, and now I have, just for you, on Jello's birthday. Which brings us to Saturday the 16th, or the 18th, I mean. Paul McCartney, 80. That's today, by the way. I started early on the show. It's Saturday morning at 8.32 a.m. I'm getting a head start. Okay. Paul McCartney, 80. Alison Moyet, which was our next clip, the singer from the duet Yaz, which later turned to Yazoo, her and Vince Clark, one of my crushes. Not Vince Clark, Alison Moyet. Anyways, she turned 61, and she did Only You live. Which brings us to the next person, Dizzy Reed, 59, keyboard player for Guns N' Roses, Blake Shelton, 46, Sunday, tomorrow, the 19th, when this is supposed to air, original drummer for Judas Priest, which was the last clip, from 74 no wait, he was from, he was the original drummer from seventy three to seventy five. His name is John Hinch, and uh, he would have been seventy four, but he died at seventy three last year. And we seen Judas Priest doing an early track called Rockarola. Nick Drake would have been seventy three. He died at 26, 48 years ago. Ann Wilson from Heart is 71. Paul Abdul is 59. And that concludes birthdays for this week. So, let's get back to the show.